Let us read the story about the flying machine. Nadim was at the airport with his mom and dad. They had been to America for a holiday. Now it was time to fly home. Nadim's dad was nervous. I don't like flying, he said. I hate taking off. I don't hate it, said Nadim. I love it. On the flight, there was a surprise for Nadim. The steward asked him if he wanted to see the controls. Nadim was excited. He had always wanted to see the flight deck of an airplane. Oh, brilliant, he said. Yes, please. The steward took Nadim and his dad through the airplane. These planes are huge, said Nadim. They hold about 400 people, said the steward. That's a lot of people in one plane, said Nadim. Nadim and his dad went on to the flight deck. They met the captain. We're, the, we're flying an autopilot, said the captain. The plane is flying by itself? Nadim looked at all the controls. I'd like to be a pilot, he said. It takes a long time to learn, said the captain. But what's to stop you? Don't let him take over the controls just yet, joked Nadim's dad. I'm a nervous passenger. Oh, dad, said Nadim. After Nadim got home, he went to play at Biff and Chip's house. Anina was already there. Nadim told everyone about his holiday. I went on to the flight deck of the airplane, he said. I'd love to be a pilot, said Anina. Mom called Biff and Chip. They had to go downstairs to help wash up. We won't be long, said Chip. Anina picked up the magic key. Suddenly, it began to glow. It took Anina and Nadim on an adventure. The magic took Nadim and Anina back in time. It took them to a place in America. Why has the magic key brought us here? asked Anina. They heard the sound of an engine. The sound was coming out of a big cloud of dust. A man was driving towards them in a strange-looking car. What on earth is this or is it? asked Nadim. It looks like a really old car. You can't stand here, bear, called the man. You'll be in the way of the flying machine. A strange-looking aeroplane was standing by a barn. Nadim and Anina had never seen anything like it. Another man was working on the aeroplane. The first man got out of the car and went over to him. Anina gasped. The two men looked alike. They must be twins, she said to Nadim. Hello, said the second man. I'm Henry and this is my twin brother Harold. Who are you? I'm Nadim. This is Anina, said Nadim. You're not spying on us, are you? asked Harold. Why would we do that? asked Anina. We're just about to try out the flying machine, said Henry. But it's a secret. No one has ever made a flying machine before, said Harold. We will be the first people to do it. It's amazing, said Nadim. We've not seen an aeroplane like this before. The twins laughed. A aeroplane, said Harold. That's a good thing for it, a hairy plane. But it will never fly, said Anina. Of course it will, said Henry. Harold sat in the flying machine. I'm ready he shouted. Henry started the engine. The propeller began to turn. 
it's fun faster and faster but the flying machine didn't move i told you so said anina it's a propeller said anina it will never work it's too flat she picked up two pieces of wood it needs to be like this she said it acts like a screw to pull the plane through the air well we could try it said henry the trees changed the shape of the propeller but it still won't fly said nadine you only have a flat wing you have no way to make it lift up how will we how would take off huh said harold we've made a ramp the faster we go the higher it will fly harold got into the airplane henry started the engine we'll see if you're right he yelled the propeller spun round and the airplane began to move faster and faster it's working shouted henry it still won't fly said nadim the plane zoomed up the ramp at full speed it rose in the air like a heavy bird yee called henry it's flying the plane flew straight up it went backwards in a loop then it dived towards the ground help yelled harold the plane hit the ground with a heavy with a heavy bump harold was thrown out it was still going up full speed it roared towards nadim and anina stop it yelled harold look out shouted henry no one could stop the plane it headed towards a big water tongue it's going to crash gasped nadim the plane went under the water tank the wings snapped off but the plane went on it hasn't stopped said henry the plane didn't slow down it roared on towards the farm harold and henry jumped in the in their into their car and chased after it one thing's for sugar said nadin to anina your propeller works well henry and harold's mother and father lived on the farm their mother had just done washing she was hanging it out to dry their father was watering his prize melons and pumpkins henry and harold followed nadim and anina chased after them oh heck said harold why won't it stop oh my said henry it's heading for the farm oh dear said anina i don't like the look of this the plane roared on it ran through the washing it squashed the melons and pumpkins it hasn't stopped shouted harold now what are we going to do let's hope it runs out of gas soon said henry the plane headed towards the town a woman was painting her house she heard the sound of an engine whatever is that she wondered it sounds like a roaring bull the plane ran into the ladder and knocked it down the woman fell to the ground she still had the paintbrush in her hand the plane went on what the heck was that gasped the woman at last the plane stopped in the middle of the town it had crashed into a statue people ran to see what all the noise was about henry and harold stopped the car they both jumped out this doesn't look good said harold nadim and anina ran to see where the plane had stopped nadim spoke to harold and henry you see he said the propeller works now we need to make the flaps and a rudder suddenly there was a noise it sounded like an engine it came from up in the sky everyone looked up an airplane was flying over the town 
is a flying machine, someone shouted. Another hairy plane, joked Anina. The people waved and cheered. The pilot of the plane waved back at them. I know who that is, called the man. It's Wilbur Wright. He and his brother are the first men to fly. We, well, I'll be darned, said Henry. So we aren't the first men to fly after all, said Henry. The Wright brothers have bitten us to it. Never mind, said Harold. I have an idea for a boat that goes under the water. The magic key began to glow. It was time for Nadim and Anina to go. Sorry, we're just such a long time, said Biff. There was a lot of washing up to do. Never mind, laughed Anina. The time just flew by. And it wasn't just the time that flew, joked Nadim. Thank you for watching. Please try to read along and practice reading. Have a good day.